Hey everybody, Dave here, and I got a little cool tool to show you here. This is called a dado plane. And I have one problem with it as I was cleaning off my uh, workbench last night off of all the uh, wood chips and things. And I think the wedge fell out that holds this iron in. And I also think when that wedge got thrown out, uh, well, I think that wedge got thrown out with all my wood chips. And I'm not very happy about that. It's not too hard to make a new wedge. Uh, just not something I can handle in uh, the 20 minutes I've got um, free right now. But this is how you would cut, or one of the ways you could cut a dado in wood before people had power routers and dado blades and things like that. So this is about a half inch wide and that's the width of the dado that it'll cut. On the front we have these two metal knickers held in here with a wedge and an iron. There's supposed to be a wedge right, right here. I tried jamming some dowels in there. Uh, it just doesn't have enough uh, wedging action and I don't want to get them stuck in there and have uh, even more work for myself. So how this works is I've got a depth stop. I got the knickers on the front and I clamp the straight edge to my board I'm putting the dado in. So what you would do is you set these to just nick the wood and you pull back a couple times against your straight edge. And that cuts the fibers of the wood because we're going across the grain. Then what you would do is you'd adjust your plain iron depth and you'd cut across and I'm going to give this a little bit of persuasion just to kind of see if we can get one little cut going here. And I really need that wedge, but uh, I think that's my next project is making a new wedge for my uh, dado plane here. So that's what a dado plane is and how it works. And I can kind of show you, I tried getting started here. So you can kind of see the start of my dado here before the iron keeps uh, popping out on me every time without the uh, proper wedge in there. And everybody, thanks and have a great day.